Hi, my name is Alex Jones. I'm a senior technical architect at Palantir.net, and I'm also the technical architect for Edit Together, the open source real-time collaboration framework we're building for Drupal. I'm here today to showcase the current state of Edit Together and give an overview of the features we plan to add in the coming weeks. First, I'll show how Edit Together transforms the node edit form and demo some of the features it currently provides. Here in the node edit form, you'll notice that every field and form element on the page is collaborative and syncs for all users in real time. For non-text fields such as dropdowns, numbers, and dates, the user's cursor wraps the whole field to indicate a user interaction. Users can also collaborate within the administrative sidebar. This is because we're considering collaborative content creation to include all aspects of creating, editing, and publishing a node. A quick note for developers, each collaborative form element you see here has a corresponding collaboration binding built using Edit Together's plugin API. The plugin API supports the creation of collaborative bindings via custom modules, meaning that you can define bindings for contrib and custom fields without modifying the Edit Together source code directly. Depending on the context, these bindings can continue to exist in custom modules, be contributed to other modules, be supported as extension modules for Edit Together, or be contributed back to Edit Together directly. For the text editor, we've continued to implement new features, the most notable being the introduction of multilingual support and the ability for users to embed images. Edit Together uses the Entity Browser and Entity Embed modules for inserting images, and as a side effect, other entity types such as nodes can be embedded within the text editor as well. Entity embeds are also synced collaboratively, and users can make adjustments to any embedded entity in real time, assuming they have the appropriate permissions. For those of you using Media Library to embed images, a Media Library integration is currently in development as well. Multilingual support follows the assumptions of Drupal's translation API by creating a new node entry for each translation. At the time that the translation is created, the current form state is copied, but comments and collaboration history do not carry over. Collaboration is then available for users editing the same language translation, and any updates to the collaboration state and comment list are tied to that translation specifically. When you return to the default translation, any comments or changes you have made do not carry over. Where saving is concerned, we've developed a solution that respects Drupal's conventional saving behavior. When users execute a save that could trigger a publish or create a new node revision, other users are notified of this change and prompted to refresh the node form before attempting to save again. Because the collaborative form state is autosaved, refreshing the page does not result in content loss even if the changes were made after the form was saved. In the coming weeks, we have more features planned for Edit Together, including updates to the collaboration and comment UI, support for field level commenting, support for suggesting and approving changes, support for layout builder and paragraphs, and integration with the Drupal roles and permissions system. If you'd like to find out more about the work we do at Palantir, including our work on Edit Together, you can find us online at palantir.net slash edit together. Thanks so much for tuning in.